We are back with another episode of the Royal Family of Windenburg. In this episode, we are focusing on Princess Anna, and as you can see, she is about to age up into a teenager. So, Princess Anna is definitely our wild child, so we're going to focus just a little bit on that for this episode. So, let's see, she is blowing out the candles now, and we are going to have her be a teenager. So, let's see what she looks like. Oh, there is a wall there. And it is very hard to see her. So there we go. Okay. So we... Oh, they are still celebrating. Okay, so Princess Anna aged up. So she is... Um, she's a wild child, as I mentioned. She wants to be an actress. So I think that is what I'm going to make her aspiration be. It's very frowned upon to be an actress in the royal kingdom. But she wants to do it anyway. She wants to be the center of attention at all times. And I believe that a good trait for her would be the self-absorbed trait. So we're going to give that to her. And let's see. Do we need to? Okay, yeah. So we need to make a few changes to Princess Anna's outfit. We'll definitely get to that. Um, until then, you guys can just kind of see. Oh, sorry, guys. My game seems to be lagging just a little bit today. So... As you guys can see, you can see everyone who is here. Print oh celebrity. Oh, that's fine. She wants her celebrity cer blah, blah, celebrity level to be lost. So um, yeah, it looks like Queen Isabel was uh, being noticed by the paparazzi, and she didn't want to anymore. So she definitely achieved that. Anyway, so you guys can see who is here at the moment. We have Sir Javin, who is Princess Cora's lover I guess slash boyfriend I don't think they're quite boyfriend and girlfriend yet but they're definitely getting there so that's Sir Javin we have Sir Peter who is her cousin which hasn't met him yet that's weird um definitely have but we're gonna do a friendly introduction anyway so yeah we'll leave that with him and then we have Sir Derek of Windenburg he is the Earl of Windenburg's son I think that he is a possible love interest for Princess Anna. We actually have a few for her. So he's just a possible one. They are, they, I mean, they get along. They're not quite friends yet, but they've kind of, I mean, they've grown up as neighbors. So obviously they kind of know each other and know about each other. So we have him and then we have Princess Alice, which she's definitely met her also. I don't know why it's doing this. I don't know what happened to all of her relationships. But, yeah, we have Princess Alice, who is Prince Henry's girlfriend, and who is hopefully going to be the heir to the throne, or not, I'm sorry, not the heir to the throne, the next queen of Windenburg. So, we have Princess Alice, and then we have, obviously, her brother, Prince Henry, we have her sister, Princess Cora, and then we have Prince Edmund here, and they actually already have a little bit of a romantic relationship going. Let me just get to where you can see him. So Prince Edmund is actually Princess Alice's little brother. I believe the last episode when we saw him, he was just a child and he had um, he had just turned into a child, or not just turned into a child, but you guys had previously seen him as a toddler. So last episode you were introduced to him as a child and now you're being introduced to him as a teenager. So he's definitely a very skinny boy and his dad is also very skinny, so I can see where he gets it from. But he definitely, okay, you know what, Princess Anna's head's in the way, so I just want you to be able to see him a little bit. Let's see, is he going to let me turn the camera around? What is going on with this? Sorry, guys, I don't know what's happening, I don't know why I won't let, like, what? Okay, I literally press the camera once and then it does that. I don't know why it's, okay, there we go, there we go, now you can see him. So, yes, this is Prince Edmund. He is a cat lover. He's also super into books and music, and he wants to raise his skill levels. He's very cute, and I think that he would be very good for Princess Anna. I think that he would be the kind of person to want to, not tame Princess Anna, but just Princess Anna's unattainable. She's definitely the kind of person who would flirt with a lot of guys and maybe not want to settle down too quickly. But the fact that Prince Edmund is the heir to the throne of Willow Creek definitely puts him um, at the top of her suitors list. So I think that's definitely a possibility with her. 
So I'm going to go ahead really quickly and change Princess Anna's outfit and then we will come back. All right, so we are back and I think what we're gonna have, um, I think what we're gonna do is have Princess Anna, since she already has a relationship with Prince Edmund, we, I know she's probably interested in other boys too and I feel like Prince, or not Prince Derek, Sir Derek would be one of those for sure. So we're going to have her just chat with him for a little bit um, and then maybe we'll just kind of see if that turns into anything. I just, I feel like it would, I don't know, maybe she could just start flirting with him um, and we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, you guys can kind of see how I changed her outfit. So this is just her formal wear right now. Um, actually, I think that was or Queen Elena, she has a very similar dress, but of course Princess Anna's dress is purple because that is the family colors. Um, so she's taught, oh it looks like she's in the like chatting with a group right now, so we don't want her to do that. Why is Queen Isabel sad? Oh no, you're not supposed to be sad. You're, no, it's okay. You're fine. It's okay. So we ended up taking Sir Derek out to Stargaze, so that's what they're doing now. They're just trying to get away from everyone, and obviously Princess Anna wouldn't want... Well, actually, maybe she would. She might want Prince Edmund to see her flirting with another guy, because maybe it would make him a little bit jealous, and maybe it would make him like her even more. So I feel like Princess Anna is definitely the type of person to just, like, I don't know, play around with it, um, kind of just... I guess play games with guys uh, she's just she's our wild one so we're just kind of going to see what she decides to do with Sir Derek it looks like they're getting up so maybe we will ooh, okay they are walking away way too fast so let's see Princess Anna she is just as pretty as her sister honestly they are gorgeous Okay, so why don't we see how a little bit of flirting goes with them. So after flirting, let's maybe just ask him about his day. And then I might have them just sit and chat maybe like outside or something. I don't actually know if there is a place outside for them to chat. This is our castle. I didn't even say this. So this is our uh, castle dining restaurant. So this is in Newcrest. And I believe we've been here before because... I don't remember why. I, I feel like we've been here before, though. Um, this is definitely a fancy restaurant and perfect, uh, very fitting for our royal family. It looks like they sat back down, I think because they all think they're at a group meal here. Um, yeah, so I guess that's like their seats and stuff. But they are flirting. They're like flirting across the table. It looked like that one flirt went well. But she's literally so close to Prince Edmund, so I don't know if he can see any of this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so she's making eyes at him across the table. Let's see, what's everyone else doing? Aw, uh, Princess Alice and Prince Henry are right next to each other. So they're sitting together, and we have Princess Cora and Sir Javin are right across from each other too. So they're probably getting along all really well. And then, so it looks like Princess Anna and Prince Edmund exchange numbers. Uh, we have, yeah, their, their romance is definitely going up a little bit. Um, we're going to try a pickup line. I know, though, like, if you flirt in a group setting, like, it's a group group chat, I guess, if you will, um, then for some reason it doesn't work as well or like you end up upsetting someone or something along those lines oh gosh okay so apparently we didn't upset anyone because there is oh yeah okay so it says awkward encounter so I do think that maybe someone thought it was awkward it says that Sir Derek thought it was awkward though so I don't know um maybe because her brother's in that conversation and it's awkward to see his sister flirting with another guy and there's also another guy that she's romantically involved with right at the table too this is already very complicated princess anna is a huge mess and i think this will definitely add some a little bit of drama to our game though um of course right now because prince henry is just so perfect and him and Alice are so perfect that it's kind of hard to have any drama with them. Princess Cora, I mean, her and Prince or Sir Javin are just 
they're kind of a thing. I guess we can go check on them too. Um, they're not, I don't know if they're dating yet. They don't have that much romance going on. Maybe I'll just compliment his appearance. So let's see. I don't think her and Sir Javin are in a relationship. It just says they're lovebirds right now, so they haven't even really made it official. So maybe we should kind of try to get them to make it official in this one. I don't know. I feel like Princess Cora, I feel like, is very driven and motivated, and she's the type of woman to put career first. So I think that she probably doesn't want to get in a relationship that's too serious yet. I know that back then it would just kind of not be a choice for her um, and that they would do, they, that they would probably just arrange her marriage anyway. She'd actually probably already be married by now. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll kind of see where it goes with them. He hasn't like really asked her out on a date or texted her too much or like come over. So maybe he's not trying to get into a serious thing either. So right now, Princess Anna is still flirting with Sir Derek across the table. I don't think that, I don't know, she keeps making eyes at him. And then she keeps going back into the conversation with everyone else. And then she keeps making eyes at him again. So I think she's just very flirty. And I think that she's trying to make Sir, or I think she's trying to make Prince Edmund uh, jealous. So, I don't know. Let's see. How is he taking this? He's just kind of sitting. Ah! He's like, has that nervous smile. Did you see he was all serious and then he had that smile? That was funny. I don't know. I feel like Prince Edmund doesn't really seem to be acknowledging it too much. I don't know how jealous they can get if they're not really in a relationship with the other sim. I feel like they might just take it as like, okay, we're not really serious, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, Queen Elena and King Derek are here, and they are fighting in the restaurant in the corner. Oh gosh, and literally their daughter is right there. Like, they're fighting right next. Oh my gosh, they're wearing the same dress. I just realized that. Oh my goodness, I need to change her dress. They're wearing the exact same thing. I did not mean for that to happen. I, yeah, I feel like I need to change Queen Elena's dress because it just, it seems very young. Um, and not... I mean, I don't know. She's an adult. She's not even a young adult, so I think we need to change that. Yeah, for those of you who saw the last episode, uh, Queen Elena and King Derek are not getting along right now in their marriage. As you can tell, they are fighting, and Queen Elena is pissed about something. So, oop, and they just stormed off. So, King Derek is actually having an affair with someone in Oasis Springs, so she's, uh, the lady he's having an affair with is a single mother. Her husband just passed away recently. I think her husband, I believe it was the, the not the Duke. I think it was like the Count or the Earl of Oasis Springs. Um, so now her son has been named that. So yeah, I don't know. They're, they, that's interesting that they were here and that they were just fighting in the corner next to their daughter. I don't know. And their son is over here too. I don't know why you would do that. So we're going to go ahead and it's definitely, I mean, it's 3 a.m. So I think that we are going to end our club gathering at least. And then I'm going to have Princess Anna. Um, I'm going to see if she can get into the acting career at all. I don't know. I don't know. I think she she definitely wants to do this and she definitely wants to be a celebrity at least and I think she feels like acting is the best way to do that so I don't know if we'll go with the acting route but we'll kind of see what she likes and what she ends up doing I feel like the king and queen would not allow her to be um an actress at all and I think they would definitely disown her which she definitely doesn't want to happen so she might have to try to I don't know she might have to somehow get away with it Maybe if she was the queen of Willow Creek, then she could make some kind of law that says that it's allowed and that it's not looked down upon. Because if they're queens and actress, they, the, the people would either finally be okay with actresses or maybe they wouldn't like the queen because she is an actress. So I don't know. We'll see. So we are back at the Windenburg Palace. I brought just the kids here. I left the parents at the Castle Dining Restaurant because I think they need to just spend a little bit of quality time together. So they're going to do that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and have Princess Anna text Sir Derek and Prince Edmund 
and I think I'm just kind of going to see who asks her to hang out first. I know that it's five in the morning, so if we invited them over, one of them probably wouldn't come over. So I'm just going to send them both texts and see if anyone invites her out. She definitely should not be out this early in the morning, especially since they have school soon. So she would definitely be sneaking out, which she should not be doing. But her parents are out and her siblings are kind of doing their own thing. So she's not worried about them at all. So she texted both of them. It does not look like anyone has texted her back yet. Why is she so sad? Very sad because time to wear black from having a mood swing. Uh-oh. Alrighty. Well, looks like she's having a bit of a mood swing right now. I am going to text Sir Derek and... Prince Edmund again. So last time we sent a happy text, so now we're sending a sad text. Maybe one of them will ask her to hang out. And oh, that is not Prince Edmund. That one, this one is Prince Edmund. Uh, yeah, so Prince Edmund right now is her romantic interest. And it looks like, where is he? Oh, go back up. Looks like Sir Derek is also her romantic interest and her neighbor. So she could really sneak over there right now if she wanted to. He might even pass the house and we would see him. I don't know. So we'll see if anyone texts her. I think I'm going to have Princess Cora text Sir Javin as well because we kind of want to build a relationship with them a little bit. So I'm going to have her send a happy text. I am also going to have her do her homework because she is super responsible and she definitely wouldn't not do her homework. Uh, Prince Henry is also responsible. He just, I mean, he knows already that he's the heir to the throne, so he feels like he has to be. So Princess Anna, on the other hand, does not want to do her homework. She's still in her mood swing, and I'm pretty sure she would use that as an excuse. This is her brother's bed, and it looks like she's about to just cry in his bed. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what she's doing. Doesn't look like any of the boys texted her. I don't know. Maybe we'll just send another one. Maybe I'll just keep sending texts. I could really just go over to their house, though. Oh, school starts in about an hour. Maybe Princess Anna will play hooky. Okay, well, while we are waiting for the boys to ask her to hang out, I'm going to practice acting. Let's see, what is her aspiration? So achieve level three for acting. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I sound really down. I'm coming over. Okay. All right, so she can practice acting later. So we're gonna go ahead to Sir Derek's house. So now we are hanging out with friends at Sir Derek's house. He is, huh, I'm gonna fish for compliments because that is definitely something Princess Anna would do. I'm gonna hug him. She's just gonna talk about how down she is and that she's just having one of those mood swings and that was so nice of him to invite, I mean, that's exactly what we wanted him to do, but that was nice of him to actually invite her over. Okay, we need to pay the bill soon, so we'll do that later. This is Sir Derek's house. He is the, as I mentioned, he is the Earl of Winden. oh wait, is this Sir Derek? Yes, it is, okay. Wow, this is a really nice house. I don't think I've actually been here. Right, so this is the Earl's house. And we have, it's a very, it's actually like a very, oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> Who, oh, I recognize this house. This was like one of the very first houses I played. Like these urns right here are before the very first king and queen. I'm going to actually pull up the family tree and show you this because I think this is really interesting. I recognize these names. So, we've gotta to go to the very, very beginning. Let's see how far is it gonna take us. I don't know why. It only shows like, huh, okay. Uh, Edith Windenburg. Duke Richard Windenburg, King Arthur Windenburg, he, uh, Princess Belle Windenburg. Okay, it doesn't look like everyone is loading because I know that there are more than this. I don't know if I've shown you from the last, I don't know if I showed you from the last ones. Okay, she has more kids than this too. Why are people not showing up? This is 
It's just really, really weird. Okay, yeah. They definitely have... They have more siblings than this. I'm upset right now. I do not know why this isn't showing all the way. This is not showing their full family tree. What is going on? Okay, let me just try one more time. If it doesn't work, I'll just figure it out off camera and try to show it to you guys. Yeah! Why? Uh, maybe if I... Let's just try it from another sibling's perspective. No, nah, that doesn't work either. Okay, this is really upsetting. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Uh, okay, yeah. Anyway, so... Basic... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is showing a lot. Oh, yeah, I found them! Oh, good. Okay, I found them. Okay, this makes me happy. So, th those urns right there are... It, uh, where did she go? Ariel McGovern's urn and Lewis McGovern's urn. So they had Mira Jane Greco, and then her husband was Christian Greco. So I'm pretty sure those are all of the urns. So they had Aria Warren, and let's see where... Okay, so this is kind of where I started getting into the whole royal thing. So I started out with a, a non, I guess, royal family. I hadn't established this whole thing yet, and then I decided to do it. So, let's see who she married. So, her father... Okay, they weren't technically royals then. Then I, I think they ended up just being a noble family, and then I think I brought in the royal family. So, I did have some sims before that. So, yeah, anyway, it's just interesting to see. Um, well, so Princess Anna, she is still in her mood swing. Oh, she's actually going to school. So, I guess I'll end this episode here then. We didn't really get to see her flirting with Sir Derek at all but maybe I'll go into that for the next episode and I'll kind of have a little bit more of established relationships so you guys can see and it's not just me trying to make some progress so I apologize if this video was a little slow but I hope you guys still enjoyed it I know a lot of you really enjoy this series and it makes me so happy so please like and subscribe and share with your friends continue to do so because by doing that you guys are sharing this video with others and hopefully others can see this just really neat, awesome, cool take on the royal families. But we will see you all the next episode. Bye, guys.